learning their ABCs. Tuesday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Wednesday. And the days of the week. For some of these pupils, this is the first lesson they've had in months. This school in Maiduguri has taken in children forced to leave their homes and classrooms because of attacks by Boko Haram militants. They now live in a camp 10 minutes walk away. The government hopes to enrol them here until they can go home. But it's taken time to persuade parents that it's safe. Boko Haram has attacked schools and kidnapped pupils. Blessing Joshua says she was initially nervous about sending her three boys here, but now she's glad she did. Before they started coming to school, they would just play outside all day in the sand. They would get into fights, but that has stopped now that they are in school. As parents grow more confident, pupil numbers have swelled. This school normally has 700 pupils. 900 more have come this year from the displaced communities. The headmaster says they will not turn any child away, but teachers are finding it tough. The teachers complain of the numbers of students that come this time because we have short forms of teachers and we even get volunteers from the camp who come and help us in doing this teaching. But up to now, we are shortage of teachers because in one class you will have more than 100 people or students in one class. The Ministry of Education says it is training teachers and building capacity. This is a programme they want to roll out where it's needed the most. Schools in Borno State which can take the additional pupils will continue to do so. But there's an additional challenge for the government. Several schools across the area have been turned into camps to house those who've had to flee their homes. Those are thousands of people that have to be found new places to live before those classrooms can be ready to accept pupils once again. For now, although plans have been made, no firm date for relocation has been set. The committee has already identified the locations that these IDPs will, will be taken to. And then after taking them out, there are a lot of works that are supposed to be done in the school because IDPs have occupied these uh, schools for some time. And so there is a lot of uh, rehabilitations. Uh, reconstruction of broken windows, doors, uh, bringing in new furnitures and many things. And I think this will not take much time. I think within a month or so, all things will be okay. And then students will start uh, attending classes. Borno State already struggles with the country's lowest child literacy levels. School closures in rural areas and the ongoing violence has made the problem even worse. Katerina Potozzi, CCTV, Maiduguri, Nigeria.